applying pressure, okay? Straight pressure. Why am I following you? Me a year from now, don't care about what I feel like doing or not feel like doing. Like, I need to go get it done. Welcome to episode three of my fitness journey, my weight loss journey, da 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 right? Today, I just want to kind of give an update, a physique update. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this on my Instagram story. If you haven't, I want to show you guys a quick little video of my current physique and I'm so very excited about it but first so i'm gonna be very honest and transparent here i got on the scale this morning and it has not changed very much at all however of course it's only been three weeks and in addition the body though the body is bodying okay it's body so i'm going to insert a video so you guys can see like who do i think i am who do i think i am Okay, the consistency, the discipline is paying off, obviously, regardless of what the skill says. So your girl is very inspired right now, very encouraged, very excited. I'm doing what has to be done. Now, of course, at the end of the six weeks, yes, I said six weeks because I'm extending it by one week because who even likes an odd number, like five weeks? So let's go with six. We're going to go six weeks. At the end of the six weeks, I'm going to give you an actual visual of a before and a after so you guys can see the comparison now i want to talk about a few things that keep me consistent keep me going on my fitness journey on actually like a few different things in my life but these are the things that keep me consistent because i get that a lot i get people asking me how do i stay consistent how do you stay motivated and even as a personal trainer I do not st always stay motivated. I'm not always encouraged to be consistent. The different tactics, for lack of better words, that I use to stay consistent, some of these you probably heard in previous videos and some of these are actually going to be quite new for me at least. This is going to sound so cliche, right? So cliche, but I am not always motivated. Like, who is? Really? Who, who was always motivated? Not me. And that's when I having to be disciplined and or kind of I do one or one or more of the following thing inspiration I'm a firm believer like I try not to follow anyone especially in the fitness realm or fitness aspect that I don't feel motivated by someone who does not inspire me in some type of way it could be their physique it could be their work ethic it could be them as a coach if they don't inspire me then why am I following you and I think we have to get over this whole like because someone follow you you have to follow them back some people don't follow me back but guess what if, I, if I'm getting something from your page if you're inspiring me in some type of way then okay like it's just a follower account oh well right i follow people who inspire me so there are people who pages i literally go to on days where i'm like bruh i do not feel like working out i don't why did i wait till 7 p.m i don't feel like doing this i will go to their page i will look at their story for the day i will scroll through some of their videos and i will find the motivation i'm like yep i know who to go to i know who page is going to give me that burst of you got to get this done energy that i need in order to get my workout done so find you perhaps maybe a person or two or three that you're like you know what they're right they don't have to be your body goals they could just be someone whose work ethic you're like okay you know what you're right i need to go get on my stuff i need to go knock this workout out so yeah spend a few minutes on there get the energy i need bop bop and then i knock out my workout i'm pretty sure this is also going to sound kind of uh <laughs> cliche as well but i never got I never understood this until recently. Like when I say recently, like even maybe six months ago. But what you wear, let me actually put that back. <laughs> what you wear can matter. Like it matters to me. Like what I have on when I work out or when I go to the gym, it will either fuel my workout or like bring me down a few notches. And like some people might say that's dumb and that's your opinion. However, when I look good, I feel good. You feel me? So it's gonna boost my morale. There are times, you guys know I primarily work out at home there are times when i'm like oh i just have cardio today or i just have upper body and cardio i'm not even going to film today what's let me just throw on some leggings and a t-shirt and i might not even match and i'm going to be very honest it translates to my workout like i don't even look the part like why am i even going downstairs right now like i don't get it you don't have to have the most expensive clothes you don't have to have the most 
the even the best quality like whatever you want to wear but just feel good in what it is that you're putting on and like i don't know about you but like it accelerates my workout like if i look like if i am dressed like a baddie it or at least it makes me feel like a baddie then i'm gonna have an amazing workout now number three i do not weigh myself often at all and a prime example is that of today where i weighed myself and didn't necessarily show much improvement but i feel stronger i look stronger and better like aesthetically what i'm feeling myself right now i haven't felt myself or felt this great about myself in years but the scale is telling me oh you're not really making that much progress oh honey i'm making progress okay progress that cannot be weighed instead i took a lot of pictures and took a lot of videos you guys know that already like my camera roll is crazy it's crazy that's what i like to look back at the progress i've made in my videos or in my photos take lots and lots of pictures and videos if you can as a helpful reminder i think this is number four but anywho sometimes we just need a change of scenery and i realized that was the case for me like i am blessed i'm thankful to be able to work out at home to have a home gym that literally i have the basics of everything i need however sometimes i need a change because i'm at home all day anyway and then it's like oh, i'm just going downstairs to work out so what did i do i ended up getting my gym membership back last week because i was like i need a change of scenery in order to feel inspired and feel motivated and see like-minded people around me when i work out at home it's typically just me by myself now if i work out with my man that's different we're like, you know, motivate each other, going back and forth, rooting each other on. But sometimes you need other people around or maybe visually you just like seeing like, oh man, like he or she's going super hard. Like, let me step it up a notch. So I will, I have been and will be going to that gym every once in a while, a few days out of the week. I'll still work out at home some too, but sometimes you just need to change the scenery. Like switch it up, go get a day pass somewhere. Option. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know y'all is tired of hearing me say this one right here but meal prepping like i know but this is how i stay consistent i meal prep and then i literally do not have to think about what i'm eating i don't have to think about my macros or any of that i mean i have to think about my macros a little bit but if i'm sticking to my meal prep then i'm pretty much hitting my macros and my calories every day because i know what i'm eating i know it already it's already prepped for me so on sundays we go grocery shopping on sundays and or mondays i will meal prep and i'm good and i'm y'all know i'm basic with this so i mean you don't have to be basic do what you got to do but meal prep helps helps me so much and there are even now what services there are people who meal prep for a living like if you can afford it why not might as well me over here i'm gonna make my own i'm gonna weigh my own food meal prep saves me and if i happen to run out before the following sunday then i just make a quick run to the store and i throw some chicken into the crock pot and now i have chicken i have rice i have vegetables good i'm good i'm good meal prep and if you're someone who cannot meal prep for an entire week or for three days then meal prep for two days or meal prep the night before for the following day just be prepared like if you're prepared how can you fail you can't I literally have no idea what number this is like at all. I do not allow my results to make me complacent. I allow them to inspire and encourage me. So by that I mean, say for instance, I drop seven pounds, my jeans are looser, even though I don't even own any jeans, <laughs> any jeans anymore. My triceps are really popping. And I start feeling myself like real hard, right? Like I, I like, you can't tell me anything, right? Now I can either let my head get super big with how I'm feeling about myself and become complacent and start slacking off and start thinking that I don't need to continue on being consistent and disciplined with my regimen or I can allow the progress I've made to encourage me to keep going and to keep being consistent, to keep being disciplined. I choose the latter. I want to not let my progress slow me down but propel me forward. And then lastly, I talk a lot with my hands. I have to continuously remind myself of who I am and where I want to be and who I want to be. That's important to me. My life pretty much revolves around fitness and it's only going to become more revolved around fitness because at some point I'm going to train full time. At some point I'm going to be a full time coach. This is my life. This isn't everybody's life and I get that but I have to remember who I am, what I stand for, my platform and what I want to do. I want to inspire and encourage people. So those things fuel me on the days sometimes where I'm like bro I don't feel like it. Well guess what? Me a year from now don't care about what I feel like doing or not feel like doing. Like I need to go get it done. I think about myself 
six months down the road, a year down the road, where do I want to be? And I try to hold on to that because I know the decisions that I make today are going to directly affect where I am six months from now, three months from now, two weeks from now, a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. That's why I try to consciously <laughs> make good decisions when it comes to working out when it comes to eating because it matters to me a lot like a lot a lot a lot i haven't always shown myself that part i haven't always thought like this but now i do and this is important important for me but think about where you want to be think about what you're doing right now is this going to fuel you to get where you need to be or is this going to hinder you but this is i mean that's a lot i know that was a lot that i said but these are the things that help me to stay on track. These are the things that help me to stay grounded and remind me of my purpose and my goal and the things that I want to achieve. Maybe one or two or all or none of these helped you in some type of way. This is week three. We have three more weeks, so we're halfway there. I'm applying pressure, okay? Straight pressure because I want to be pressure, you feel me? So I'm applying it what i will see you guys in week four i actually have no idea what we're going to talk about in week four i just gotta, gotta fill it out you know i just want to be able to give quality information i want to give honest information i want to give exactly how i feel and what's going on whether that looks good or bad i just gotta I gotta share it right so thank you guys for being on this journey with me we have three more weeks see you later